Shalom. I don't know if this is going to work. Uh, Shalom out there. Give us a second. Just a quick lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, nothing long, nothing deep. You know, just a pre a pre camp lesson through the spirit. And Shalakia, you know, Jake is a little, you know, uh, 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 computer, you know, ignorant, whatever. But yeah, man. You know, uh, you know, just a pre camp lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, and first and foremost, before we get started with this lesson, we like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakahakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well and have taught us this truth, peace, and salutations unto the hope and elect. The temple of King David, scattered through the four corners of the earth, and to you we say, Shalawam. Hey, Shalawam to you, Akim. Shalawam to you, Deuce to see Aqua. Shalom to the 144,000, death to the two-thirds. You know, so we just wanted to, you know, kind of bring this lesson out through the spirit. Probably how about you know, we was, you know, uh, uh, you know, talking through the spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, in these days that's coming, man, right, you're going to have your friends and your family, right, they're definitely going to bug out more and more in these times here, man. You see that? Because, you know, uh, uh, as, as a matter of fact, I'm going to open up with a scripture. All right, this is the book of St. Matthew, chapter 10, and I'm going to start at verse 20, and it reads, For it was not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speak in you. And the brother shall deliver up the brother to death, and the father, the child, and the children shall raise up against their parents and cause them to be put to death. You see that? So in these days, right, you know, you brothers and few sisters that are out there, you're dealing with friends and family, Right, and they just can't, you know, uh, uh, get with this truth, or you can't get with them. It's okay, man. Right, because everything is through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushua, especially in these times here, man. Right, and uh, you know, quick testimony through the spirit. You know, uh, I live in Charlotte, North Carolina, right now. Right, but uh, I say maybe, uh, well, I say about three, four years ago, I was living in Virginia. You know, and when I first came into this thing, you know, I instantly started to notice, right, how my friends and how my family, right, they didn't want to be around me, man. You see that? And also the Spirit of the Lord, right, put the Spirit on, or, 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 the, or the Lord put the Spirit on me, right, to not want to be around them, man. Mm -hmm. Right? And when you read the scriptures, right, it tells you what, blessed are they, which are, or blessed are you, when they shall separate you from their company, man. Right? So in these times... That's, you know, all hell ready to break loose. Things are intensifying out here. You know, these people, they, they're going to try to tie your name to the T word. Right? But it's all good, though, man. Scriptures say, blessed are you. You see that? Got it. Bro. I got a quick one. This is uh, Boss Rock, chapter 27, and verse. I'm sorry, verse 11. It says, the discourse of a godly man is always with wisdom. You know, operating in the scriptures, the wisdom out to understand in the scriptures. Yeah. It says, but a fool changes as the moon, you see. And, uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, your old friends, you know, some family members, those is not in the truth. You know, they're going to change like the moon. The moon has like eight eight or like yeah. eight to ten phases or something phase, like that. Yeah. And the scriptures say, metal not with them that are given to change. Yeah. You see, you know, your family, your old friends, those, those are uh, um, given to change. You know, not saying to not hang around them, you know, but it's, it's a balance to it. That's why it says right here, verse 11 says, verse 12, it says, if thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time all right be mindful of the time that you spend with them because it can be uh vexing to you and then also those spirits can hop on to you so yeah. it says if thou be among the industry observe the time but be continually among men of understanding you see because uh, uh men of understanding are in the same spirit all right that's that, that uh that one spirit it says the discourse of fools is irksome and their sport is in the wantonness of sin all right could, Shah, could you get proverbs 10 and 23 yeah, i got it so it says the discourse all right going into their conduct you know their um uh, the conversation amongst the earth it says the discourse of fools is irksome you know it, it's, it's irritating you know so when you're around those that you know you once hung out with you know it's it's vexing you might be around them for like one one to two hours you know you're like yeah i got gotta get the fuck out of here you know yeah hell yeah man you know i was you know i was there you know visiting my family right and i couldn't stay no more than damn an hour or two hours man you see that because the lord put the spirit on us right on us brothers to not necessarily want to be around our family anymore you see that but it's okay you know, mm -hmm. and also, you know, you know, you brothers out there, you probably had chicks that you was dealing with before you came into the truth. 
Now, now a lot of them look at you like you crazy, man. Mm-hmm. Right. So, yeah. That's right. No, I'm, about, I'm about to say the same. The same with um, uh, uh, on that same token, you said pretty much. Um, you said they they look at you like you bugged out, and you looking at them because they are bugged out. You yeah. Know, the scriptures say uh, the Lord has made our faces hard against their faces. That's right. You know because they're fully invested into this world. That's right. Uh, what was that? Uh, Proverbs 10, 23. You want me to grab? Okay, you go ahead. This is the book. Proverbs chapter 10, I'm going to start it, well, read verse 23, and it reads, It is a sport for a fool to do mischief, mm -hmm. but a man of understanding have wisdom. A man of understanding has wisdom, but it said it is a sport to a fool to do mischief, and that's pretty much the spirit that, you know, two-thirds of these heathen is in, you know, and being around them, it's going to be super vexing. You know, that's, that's right. why the scripture says to be around men of understanding, you know, the brothers, the brotherhood, yeah. you know, the, the believers, all right? That's right. As a matter of fact, it's a scripture in the Apocrypha. I'm not going to grab it right now, but it says, you know, you're supposed to wear out the steps of the men that have the wisdom, man. Mm -hmm. Right? And a lot of these people out here, you know, they simply don't have wisdom. And Shalom to all you brothers and you, you sisters, you know, that are tuning in on the comment board. Right? You know, so again, don't worry about, you know, your friends and your family and all of that, you know. And again, you know, when my people first, or when I first came into the troop, a lot of them thought, Right, that I was in the cult and, you know, uh, drinking goat blood and going the hell off, man. You see that? But, you know, don't worry about it, man, because this here is Bible prophecy, man. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to on a, on a read one more. We actually got to get it shut it down. You know, just something quick. This is the book of Luke. Uh, this is the book of Luke, chapter 12. I'm going to read verse 51. And it reads, uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to start at verse 49. It reads, I have come to set fire upon the earth. And what will I if it already be kindled? You see that, mm -hmm. Nate, man? That fire, right, is it, it's being lit right now, man. You see, you got all the tensions, you know, all hell greater break, uh, uh, break loose and all that out here, man. You're starting to see the smoke, right, start to molder itself or, or, or smolder itself. Verse 5, but I have, it's like it, but I have a baptizing to be baptized with, and how am I straightened till it be accomplished? <laughs> Verse 51, suppose ye, it's like, suppose that I come to give peace on earth, I tell you nay, but division. You see that? So this is what you see happening now, man, within families, right? You know, there's a whole lot of vision, you know, with, with Esau, Edom, right? These bug out Hebrew Israelite camps, right? So these are the times that we're living in, man. You see that? Verse 52, for I am henceforth, it's like, it, for I, it's like, it, and from henceforth, there shall be five and one house divided. Three against two and two against three, and the father shall be divided against the son, and the son against the father, and the mother against the daughter, and the daughter against the mother, and the mother in law against the daughter in law, and the daughter in law against her mother in law. You see that? So, this is what you see happening, man, right? So, you brothers and you few sisters that are out there, you know, dealing with family, right? And they just can't get the truth. You got to realize, and this is red letter, Yahweh Shah speaking, man. You got to realize that all this here is Bible prophecy, man. And as things ramp up and intensify, you're going to see a lot more of that, man. You see? You got anything? Mm -hmm. got anything nah, yeah. yeah, you know, so, you know, like how we say, you know, it's just supposed to be something real quick through the spirit. Power y'all by Shana was shy. Right? Get ready to go ahead and fire up camp, you know. So let this be a lesson to you brothers out there, man. Don't worry about your friends and your family and all of that, man. You know, old chicks that you knew, you sisters out there, old guys you knew. They don't want to be around you no more. Don't even worry about it, man. You see that? So, you know, with that being said, we're going to go ahead and end this video right here in Israel. Until next time, we say, Shalom. 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 Shalom.